You're gonna like this one. I just see in video, it's called the scumbag TikToker who faked Tourette's for clout. Now this is crazy. Have you no morals? Have you no shame? Let's watch this video. How do people call her out? How do they know? Was it just obviously fake? Emerald claimed to have suffered from Tourette syndrome since the age of six or seven, a disorder which made her life incredibly difficult over the years, so she claimed. By mid-2021, at the age of 27, she What? What is this doing oh my no wonder she got called out she's doing the most she was using her 500,000 follower tiktok account holy to raise awareness about Tourette's she had more clout than me yarn dyeing business hi this is emerald the stardust fiber studio i am one of the owners <laughs> what the fuck is going on this is so wrong when you hit it from the back real quick studio, i am one of the owners <laughs> i also <laughs> So do um, awareness videos for Tourette's on TikTok. However, it was with videos like the one we're about to show that began to raise suspicions about whether or not this specific TikToker actually had Tourette's syndrome after noticing that her apparent condition oh God. was forced or fake. Well, and I wanted to talk a little bit about, wow, 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 wow. I wanted to talk, wow, wow, wow. I wanted to talk a little bit about, wow, wow, wow. Never mind. Yikes, bro. When these suspicions were eventually confirmed to be true, Ticks and Roses was exposed brutally, eventually resulting in the permanent deletion of her account. Ooh. This video will detail exactly how the internet came to discover that she was faking it, all beginning with a subreddit dedicated to the truth and an old Facebook live stream. Oh. We mentioned earlier that alongside her Ticks and Roses TikTok page, Emerald also ran a yarn dyeing business called Stardust Fiber Studio, which had its own Facebook page. On this Facebook page, Emerald would often host promotional live streams dating back to 2020, uh -oh. before her Tourette's TikTok had become popular in early to mid-2021. The bizarre part about one of these old live streams was that, despite apparently having Tourette's since the age of six to seven, during the entire one minute 54 second video, Emerald didn't tick, not even once. We are wrapping up with planting all of the little seedlings now. And he's finishing up with the broccoli right now. We'll call it for In the video. See, she need a PR manager. See what I would do, chat? What I would do? I would delete this one, re-upload the video, and then just add wows, wows in the background. You know what I mean? Edit that shit in. And then I'll be like, no, someone edited it out, bro. Like, that's edited out. Here's the real footage. It's raw. It's from 20, 2014, you know? And it's wow in the background. Here's that were displayed on the Ticks and Roses TikTok page. She's <laughs> also sorry. seen ticking once every one to three seconds, sometimes even more than that. Therefore, a full one minute, 54 second old undeleted live stream in which she didn't tick once was certainly some interesting early evidence Why would she delete it? of her disorder. When the discussion of the Facebook live stream began to show up regularly in her TikTok comments, Emerald actually had a pretty reasonable defense and would even respond to a specific TikTok that had brought it up. You should check out her YouTube, Stardust Fiber Studio, and take note of how she doesn't have a tick in any of the videos. Maybe you'll think twice. To which she would respond, hey, so this is a comment I saw a lot and I wanted to clear up a few things uh -oh. before explaining that the ticks didn't happen all the time and that it was possible for her to make short videos without any involuntary outbursts. The excuse was reasonable and accepted by many, well, momentarily. Shortly thereafter, Reddit would uncover another full 54 minute live stream, again without a single tick, rendering her previous excuse slightly less believable. There were other pieces of similar evidence. For example, she would post a TikTok titled Nursery Rhymes with Tourette's, in which she couldn't get past the first line of reading without ticking, yet Reddit would find an example of her reciting a written poem for two and a half minutes in an oh. old clip without a single sign of even the slightest tick. The pattern was incredibly simple to follow. On her TikTok, the ticks were uncontrollable, yet in any other situation, they were non-existent. With evidence suggesting that her condition had been fabricated, Emerald felt the pressure to prove that her Tourette's was in fact real, at which point- Look at her hair, look at her, just look at her. She would apparently go and see a specialist to get a proper diagnosis, uploading a video of her consultation to TikTok. So I know you've all probably seen the uh, chaos happening on my channel, so I wanted to show a little bit of my last outpatient consultation. <laughs> While Emerald likely assumed that this would silence the haters, so to speak, it really only did the opposite. Uh -oh. Many were suspicious of the letter owing to a multitude of mistakes and oddities within the writing. For example, PTSD had been written twice in the list of past uh -huh. medical history. Why was it necessary to include that she was a very pleasant 27-year-old left-handed lady in the history of present illness? OCD with anxiety disorder is just flat out wrong. OCD is an anxiety disorder, and an anxiety disorder is not a diagnosis. It is a family of diagnoses. You would have to say generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, or unspecified or something. They this are not cooking her right now. Or write this. 
The letter <clears throat> was certainly suspicious. However, to Emerald's credit, doctors definitely have a reputation for being somewhat careless when it comes to writing. Perhaps the doctor was in a rush and put down PTSD twice without realizing. Maybe Emerald lacked wisdom when it came to life choices, yet I don't think she'd be dumb enough to print a fake letter without reading over it at least once. Mentioning left-handedness actually makes sense if you're a doctor, who's aware that there are many genuine genetic and neurological mm. differences between right and left-handed. Really? As Emerald simply went to somewhat of a careless doctor and- God damn it shit, left-handed ass. Look at y'all. You scribble with your left hand, dumb. I'm smarter than you. We were dumb. Pretended to have ticks throughout the short consultation, providing her with a legitimate diagnosis for a fake condition. Alternatively, perhaps she had simply written the letter herself in Microsoft Word or Photoshop, highlighted by one comment on the diagnosis letter video. Hey, no hey, just curious. I went to Virginia Mason in Seattle a few weeks ago, and my paperwork had a different logo on it. Did you go to a different one? Uh an interesting thing that no one on Reddit seemed to pick up on is that the genuine Virginia Mason logo has a small TM placed after the name. Yet the letter Emerald shows in the photo has no TM. And if you go onto Google Maps, search up Virginia Mason logo, filter to photos with a transparent background, and look at the first image. No way! You'll see a logo identical to the one within the TikTok without the little TM as is shown in almost every other official version of the logo. With many assuming that the letter had been faked, she would then be trolled by people making their own forgeries of the documents such as this one which read patient ticks and roses doctor fictitious date of birth who cares Chief <laughs> fourth, all of which completed in the exact same style so as the original letter after being completely and utterly backed into a corner ticks and roses would disable comments on the video before deleting it days later at the same time she'd also delete everything from her instagram page with one reddit post stating tar has deleted all posts on their instagram maybe which was then confirmed by a comment reading can confirm it i don't see anything on their profile yo However, many wanted further punishment against Ticks and Roses. Specifically, they wanted the TikTok account deleted. Take down Ticks and Roses merch and platform read one change.org petition with over 2,000 signatures. This disease is not a joke and she clearly finds it funny to fake it to gain clicks, followers, and even money. She's been selling merchandise for her own personal gain and fortune. As far as I and many others know, she capitalized off a disease that's not, is it a disease? A capitalized off a disease that she doesn't even have? Bro, that is crazy. She tricked half a million people bro that is wild so she capitalized off a disorder that she doesn't have and tricked half a million people bro that is insane the internet is a crazy place dude i mean to be fair i, I tricked like a bunch of people into thinking i was a white anime guy with blue eyes <laughs> and we about to hit half a mil on youtube <laughs> It got you, bitches! I got you, bitches! <laughs> Many other illnesses with proof me and others have found. Like I said in the first part, this illness isn't a joke. It's not quirky. It's not a game. It's a terrible disease with no cure, and she's been doing disgusting things to profit off it. Yikes. Many went even further by commenting on how ticks and roses had impacted their life personally. I'm signing this because my husband suffers from Tourette's. Every day, his body does things that he does not want to do. Yo, imagine, like, okay, here's my thing. I'm sorry, this is not funny. I'm not making a joke. I'm just thinking in a hypothetical world. Like, imagine fucking someone with Tourette's, right? And they just do some crazy shit. They just yell out some, they're like, I'm fucking a bitch. And she just, she just, little dick, little dick. <laughs> I'm not bitch, what? <laughs> what you mean? Or like, chat, someone's hitting it from the back, right? And they just punch the back of your head. You're just like, ah, damn, what you do that for? Like, bro, what the fuck? Kenji, I'm sorry. It's just things I think about, bro. I'm sorry. What if, yo, 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 no funny shit? Imagine someone like doing fellatio. Just end up biting your shit or something, bro. That would be wild. Oh my God, stop. Okay, my fault. And let it be known right now. If you don't feel powerful, put a dick in your mouth, okay? And, and here's why, here's why. Cause you control that man's fate. You have all the power in the world. When the dick in your mouth, you be like, you be like this, you be like, I can bite down right now. Don't play with me. You know what I mean? Kenji, please, am I not making it? Okay, I'm sorry. I'll. <laughs> I'll play the video. It's embarrassing and it wears him out. This person is not doing this for awareness. They're doing this simply because their business has been profiting from the merchandise they mm. make about their Tourette's, which she does not have. I'm asking any and all others to please sign this petition. Having ticks is not a trend. Ticks are not something to try and gain attention from. This person is disgusting. By this point, Ticks and Roses wasn't exactly popular or well-respected by those who once followed her content. It felt like it was only going to be so long until Reddit users found a strong enough piece of evidence to put a stop to the antics altogether, uh -oh. or so they thought. Instead, they would find an old video which actually added credibility to Emerald, derailing the project in the short term. Oh, what they My find? My name is Emerald, and I have Huntington's disease. It affects all aspects of a person's life. It causes movement disorders, such as involuntary jerking, impaired gait and balance, 
and difficulty with speech and swallowing. In yet another old Facebook live stream, before her TikTok had blown up, at a time when she had less motive to lie, Tixon Roses somewhat sincerely shared information about her experience with Huntington's disease, stating that one of the symptoms was involuntary jerking. So yes, I have Huntington's disease, but Huntington's disease doesn't have me. In a I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, explain. That is the same logic as a diploma wasn't able to get me. <laughs> like, yo, why didn't you graduate? Shit, <laughs> you didn't get your diploma? <laughs> diploma wasn't able to get me? Like, like, what do you mean, bitch? Like, that was some real fake woke shit I just heard right now. I have crabs, but crabs don't have me. <laughs> I'm sorry, my fault, my fault, okay. In addition to the video, Reddit users found an old Huntington's disease fundraiser from October 2014 hosted by Emerald, which stated, Huntington's disease is something that affects my entire family. My grandfather was diagnosed and shortly after my mother as well. Damn. I'm doing this walk for my grandfather, for my mother, and for those in my family that have the potential for having this disease as well. While many on Reddit remain skeptical in comments as blatant as, I don't believe she has Huntington's disease, the video in combination with the 2014 fundraiser gave her a pretty good case proving that she did in fact have the disease. However, people quickly discovered something else associated with this diagnosis uh -oh. that was extraordinarily fishy. In order to be diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome, you must have symptoms that are not the result of another medical condition such as Huntington's disease. Even oh. if she does have tics, which is made to doubt here, no doctor should be diagnosing her with Tourette's. Instead, any good doctor should be telling them that their tics, again, made to doubt, are a byproduct of their Huntington's. This basically meant that if she did truly have Huntington's, the case for her having Tourette's was now even weaker. However, there was still no rock solid evidence proving that she was, in fact, a cold hard liar. But people hadn't given up hope. And there was still one place from which the truth could be found her family themselves. In the fundraiser from 2014, Emerald mentioned that Huntington's disease is something that affects my entire family. Also mentioning that she had a 14 year old sister. Well, this specific sister would discover the Reddit thread after it had gained international uh -oh. attention, after which she would shatter the wall of lies that Emerald had been hiding behind <gasps> as her TikTok grew larger and larger. On the 31st of May, 2021, a user by the name of Jade4101 would make a post to the subreddit titled Introducing Myself and the Truth, which contained the following message. It be your own sister. I'm sorry, bitch. Murder's the only option. Like, buddy, you gotta go. You're getting packed up. My brother snitched on some, like, like I don't know. If I was, like, in a, some deep shit, like, um, let's say let's say I got a girl. I got a girl, and, and she she think I'm, like, she think I'm a millionaire or something. And then my brother go up to him, like, hey, he broke his shit. He live on a couch. Like, I, we gotta fight Mortal Kombat style. You know what I mean? Like, dude, to the death, fucking with a pool noodle in each hand. Like, dude, we gotta fight. I'm sorry. You are, though. I, but I'm saying if I was lying about it, I don't lie about me being poor. I just embrace it, okay? That's what makes me me and unique. Hi everyone, I recently found out about everything going on. I wanted to clear up some misconceptions and share my part. I am Emerald's sister and we grew up together. Mm. Although we were raised non-denominational Christian, my mother, who is an amazing woman, and I have always been supportive of Emerald and miss them dearly. We have always accepted them. They cut communication with us. We have tried to reach out, but they no longer wish to have contact with us and we haven't talked in years. I'm just commenting in hopes of clearing up misinformation. All us and we haven't talked in years. I'm just commenting in hopes of clearing up misinformation. Also, my grandpa does have Huntington's. It's late onset, which means it doesn't show up till late in life. My grandpa is currently suffering from the side effects and is not doing well. It's very sad. My mother has it too, but he's not yet showing symptoms, thankfully, and I have not been tested. Lastly, I do not believe Emerald has Tourette's syndrome and never showed any symptoms as a child. Mm. They are mentally ill though. I love my sister, I always will, and I wish them the best, but I don't agree with what they have done. It's incredibly disrespectful to fake a mental illness for any reason. Yo, the T's? His S's and T's? With this motherfucking filters sound crazy sound like pipes are dropping in like a basement or some shit you fucking frying french fries or something and it's just oils popping back at you i do wish for emerald safety all i ask is respect and privacy for my parents and grandparents and if you don't believe me i'm happy to answer any questions you all may have as long as they're not disrespectful Oh, I'm talking too the much. post received over 400 responses from those desperate to get an insight into the unique psyche of an indie of an individual who would fake a disorder for TikTok. Do you know why Emerald might have fabricated all this? Did they have a tendency to want attention regardless of it being good or bad? Honestly, I'm unsure why Emerald would fabricate this. I was kind of in shock when I first heard about everything. But yes, they do have a history of fabricating stories or stretching the truth, so to speak. Mm. Do you know why they cut communication with you? I'm not exactly sure. I've tried reaching out to them to talk about it, but they never replied. 
One day we were no longer friends on Facebook. And Such a bad idea with this filter, bro. Stop talking to me. I think they thought me and my mum were unsupportive of them, but we really did support them and love them to the fullest. If I did do something wrong to hurt them, I only wish we could have a conversation about it. My own experience with this behavior is that you know the truth. Therefore, you're dangerous to their delusion. However, it would be when Emerald herself commented on the post that uh -oh. everyone knew the game was well and truly over. Uh-oh. My diagnosis that I've gotten in adulthood, you cannot speak on, as we had no contact, and do not blame my partners. You say that this has been hard for you, and that was never my intent. I started awareness because I never wanted anyone to be ashamed as I was. This visceral hatred has been hard for me. It caused my children's school to be called because someone said lies, and they tried to take my children. They're afraid to go to school now. Dang. It's caused my car to be trashed. It's caused me to be spit on in public, because I wanted to help people. The money I received, I donated. I volunteered with the Tourette Association of America. I did public outreach. I was interviewed for a person thesis. I was interviewed for a podcast, but I asked them not to air it out of concern for them. The messages I got from people saying their child wasn't afraid to go to school anymore because of me changed. I want them to air it. I want to know what podcast it was, and I just want to see if she was on on live air, like talking about some today. You know what I mean? Like just fucking doing that shit, like faking it. Their life, or a woman saying her husband finally saw a neurologist and getting help. I met friends who had the same experiences as me, who made me feel seen. Now I've closed down everything Tourette's related. I've given up. You all win, and I'm back where I started living in shame of being different. Please just leave me alone now. Damn. A day later, the Ticks and Roses TikTok account was deleted permanently. Three Dang. days after that, she would address the deletion on her alternate business page in a video which conveniently featured absolutely zero ticks. Hey, I was not planning to address this anymore because addressing it has not fixed it. I was literally bullied off the internet, so I do not- Rightfully so. Do awareness for Tourette's anymore. Regardless of the fact that I do have a clinical diagnosis. You're literally not ticking right now. Anne said there was a hour podcast that dropped and she didn't tick once. What the fuck? Is she really dying on this hill? So I'm spending my time on my yarn business and on my religious group. And I just want to live my life. And yeah. Emerald continues to post photos for her yarn dyeing business to her Instagram account Stardust Fiber Studio. However, she hasn't shown her face on camera since the deletion of Ticks and Roses, showing that perhaps, just maybe, she's learned somewhat of a lesson from Dang. this incredibly embarrassing experience. Bro, W video. Holy shit. I hope you like and subscribe.